Hello. This time I will be building on the sea floor again. As you can see, uh, I've picked out this little, a uh, little bay, where uh, yeah, I think uh, I need another island, and we need some residential area. So I thought um, making this um, would look nice. Start by uh, building these uh, flood walls. They uh, come uh, with the game. I think you can uh, build them uh, uh, underwater and use uh, move it to uh, to level them to the desired height. I uh, first wanted to make it really deep, but um, you get these uh, edges, so I try to. Uh, to level it out. Next up is um, placing down a water pump to get the water out. And um, I just uh, pick the biggest one I have. Yeah, that causes a big tsunami, of course. I have this mod that uh, um, allows me to uh, to reset the water to sea level. You have to push it a few times and then uh, the tsunami uh, sort of uh, suits out. And um, yeah, I think that's uh, really convenient because it can cause a lot of damage on the other side of your, uh, of your construction. Like you can see here that the waves are still uh, Still uh, kind of crazy, but you see the water is draining, and um, and here come up, I come up with the idea of uh, of, uh, of building some uh, some canals. First, I uh, try to get some uh, some nice angles, and that's the downside of uh, working with uh, working underwater. Um, the game wants to. Uh, to build above water, so it's kind of a struggle to do this, but um, well, uh, in the end, um, I managed to get some nice shapes, I think. Yeah, here come I, I come up with the idea of, uh, of, of building canals. I have these Dutch canals. They uh, are really small and they uh, I think they're very uh, uh, suitable for this area. You can connect them with uh, these uh, the in-game canals, so you get uh, this uh, this nice transition to a somewhat wider area. I keep circling here with uh, with the heights, although the area is level, it's still. Um, Still wants to build above water. But it's slowly draining now. Here I start building uh, some kind of street pattern. I have uh, these uh, plain roads. They uh, they can be found on the workshop. And they don't have any road markings on them, so uh, it looks more like uh, a quiet neighborhood without all the pedestrian crossings and uh, all of these things that come with the vanilla roads, like uh, median stripes and things like that. I get rid of the water pump because I want to have water in the canals. So I uh, make this, um, uh, well, uh, Tent. and uh, put a water source in there, set it to the desired level, and then um, the water starts uh, filling the canals. And if you place uh, a canal over it, you can see the... It looks, it looks nice, like a water source. So now I can... Uh, connect uh, more uh, more canals 
they all fill up with water nicely to the desired level. I want to uh, expand the network uh, a bit more. More roads, more canals. It's kind of a struggle to keep them uh, keep them level, but it's still not level. Everyone the. Uh, like to live uh, on the water or near water, I think. It's always nice. And uh, yeah, I uh, make all these little inlets. So um, there's uh, everybody, uh, everybody's garden is uh, facing the water. Slowly but steady, uh, some, uh, some shapes are, uh, are forming. I try to uh, make uh, some wider areas, but uh, it doesn't look very nice. So uh, I just stick with the uh, Dutch canals. The uh, plain roads only come with uh, uh, stick to the ground form. So they uh, can't form uh, any bridges. Well, I left them uh, um, just over ground when I built these uh, these these bridges. It actually looks kind of nice from close up. It only lacks uh, a, a railing, but um, well, I think um, that it's okay. You hardly see it. make it uh, really easy for myself with uh, these uh, strange angles. But um, I think uh, I've managed to uh, to make a nice pattern. And I uh, start to uh, finish, uh, finish the canal building. We put down some, uh, some of these houses. These uh, are from the workshop. Um, I will uh, put a link in the description if you want to use them. Um, it's it's uh, a pack. They uh, come with nice uh, decorated gardens. Quite a few in the pack with uh, different colors. You can also uh, use the uh, use a mod to uh, make them even the same color, I think. Now I start thinking about uh, how to connect uh, all this. I have this uh, this road on the other side, and it's uh, it has a tram line also. So um, I uh, thought, uh, why not go uh, just put a bridge and uh, make it easy. Yeah, well, there will be some services also here. So I start planning out uh, where things are going. Then I start removing the sand. That's uh, really changing uh, how the area looks. Now it looks more like uh, a residential area. Since it has a little bit of a Dutch vibe, I uh, thought um, I would incorporate some uh, some bike paths. Yeah, I have done so uh, in many parts of the city, and uh, it really uh, helps with traffic. People are really willing to use these uh, these bike areas or bike paths. I just lower them a little bit so they go under the road. It's not really how it should be, I think, but it works.
Yeah, some schooling. I always, uh, I always forget to uh, to to build brand new schools. So uh, later, you see me building another high school. Yeah, I wanted this area to be uh, uh, suitable for pedestrians also. So, uh, build a few bridges and pathways. Now it's a matter of uh, filling the area with uh, different kinds of buildings. The game actually crashed around here somewhere. Luckily I had the outer save on. Yeah, so um, this is about it for this uh, build. Next up is um, the result after many, many, many hours of uh, filling up the area with more buildings, some offices and some high rises. Some, I think it looks um, it looks okay, like a little uh, community below sea level. You can see it here. The water is really high up the wall. And um, yeah. That's it. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell.